Hi, this is Farrell. Welcome to my video YouTube channel and page 24 of Robot Todd. Um, I have uh, two more pages left to go after this page for issue one. And issue one will be done and this is, uh, Fern Fells is joining up with the group or at least she's entering, re-entering the scene um, or the comic, the story. Uh, she made a brief appearance early on in this issue and the uh the guys the uh robot todd and sept were being on the previous page being cornered by some bad guys and the scene switched back to her at the wizard castle and going through this wizard's orb into the caves that they're at um so here you can see that i laid out the page using the template that i made a few videos back and I'm just really roughing the pencils here, going off my thumbnails that I have in my sketchbook. I have the whole thing written down in a text document that I reference and add to and subtract to. And um, there you can see I, I did kind of place the lettering first. And oh yeah, here's the uh, Herbie Hancock uh, pencils. I, one of the commissions I did from my crowdfunder, which is almost over. There's just a couple days left on it. Um, I got the full funding that I was asking for, but uh, there's still like a few days left if you want to get on board with that. I, I don't, don't have any more commission spots open up, but I made a reward on there that you can get any print or like a, not a print, but a, a JPEG, TIFF, PDF print quality uh, um, image for your phone or your desktop or whatever that you can download. Um, so yeah, here we can see that these quite a big jump in the pencils, uh, tightness. I just roughed them out and then I didn't film the, me kind of, uh, detailing them and refining them and adding to them. But you can see that I, I, in the pre earlier part of this video, how I sort of placed the lettering where I wanted to go and kind of roughed in the composition. And then it's just a matter of, you know, racing the stray lines and adding, uh, more definition and uh, detail to it. And here's the next commission. <clears throat> and this was uh, my own character, Emily, from my series Pop Gun War. Someone asked for her playing an acoustic guitar. And so I just got some reference of a guitar. And the, uh, the milk crate that she's sitting on is actually just in the living room here in my place. And I just kind of looked at the milk crate and drew that just from life. And the guitar, I had a, a few photos of uh, that I just got off the internet of people playing the guitar, an acoustic guitar. And that's always uh, a little more difficult for me, like getting the shape right of, of the guitar and everything. It's got kind of like a sort of a simple or just seemingly simple shape, but it's just really hard for me to get right. So I had, did a lot of erasing in the pencil stage. I don't think I recorded me doing the pencils of it, but because um, like I said, I was in the li my living room drawing that milk crate, but uh, yeah, I made the video of me inking it with a brush. This is a Raphael 8404, and I used the brush. I used to use pretty much exclusively brush when inking, but with the Robot Todd comic, you can see I use these Faber-Castell pit pens, and with these commissions, I kind of do a mix and this was one of the black and white commissions, so I just did an ink wash on this one rather than doing any color. But um, yeah, I mostly used, uh, you can see I used a pen on the guitar and some of the less organic shapes. I used one of these Faber-Castell pit pens. So here we are back to the page and uh, I'm going, I do the lettering first when I ink it as well. So after I've gotten the dialogue uh, to, to a point that I like, uh, I, I, uh, yeah, I just do all that, lay that down in first. And then I started inking the, after I was done with that, the lettering, I started inking all the foreground characters. And the first panel is her in this different location. And she's like, how, how do I get there? Where, you know, she, she wants to talk to robot Todd, but he like left the scene and, uh, this duck robot thing is like, go through that orb so she enters the orb and then comes out of the screen on the other side 
And uh, yeah, now that I've I've inked it all with a pen, or at least inked the foreground characters with a pen, I'm going over with a little brush and adding some ink wash and some watercolor. I'm using up the last of that pre-mixed uh, blue that I have there, that uh, intense blue water liquid watercolor. And um, I still have a little bit left, but it's getting down to the and I actually have more in a vial that's the concentrated stuff that's a little diluted with water. And um, I'm using it for, the, you know, since the scene that she's going into is in this blue cave area, the orb is, is blue. And I thought that had like a nice contrast with like the dull grays and yellows and browns of the oh, yeah, you can see my cat. They like to interrupt me when I'm drawing. So he kept jumping up on my desk. This was from yesterday. Uh, bless his little heart. He actually got in a scrap today, um, unfortunately. So he's a little recovering from some wounds he got from another cat or something. But yeah, so back to this page here. Um, so yeah, they, I knew there was going to be a lot of this blue. And uh, yeah, like the, I thought it was like a nice contrast in that first panel with it against the, so it kind of it pops pretty good, I think. And uh, she enters into the, into the orb comes out in the in the the blue room with the monitors and sees the fox who had kind of disappeared from the previous page but he ran back to to these these uh video monitors or whatever they are screens i guess to give directions that's kind of like this fox whose name is Gwilder. that's sort of like his his job is to uh i guess direct give give uh, like his I wouldn't say like a map, but sort of like a guide of like, oh, hey, go over here, do the, do this. Like, at, least, at least that's what he's been <laughs> so far to Robot Todd and now uh, to this character, Fern Fells. Uh, she's entering uh, this like underground cave area where, Ro where Todd and Sept are being attacked. So yeah, I'm just kind of adding this one instead of doing like a big wash over the whole thing like I've been doing for the previous page. I just sort of did a piecemeal or a uh, like panel by panel and uh, uh, sort of like, you know, paint by numbers approach where I, okay, I'm going to paint all the backgrounds now and now I'm going to paint the character, or the clothes on the character and then the, the skin of the character um, or the fur or flesh or whatever uh, I guess Fern Fells has. So that's the, uh, the finished page there. Um, it's pretty much pretty much at the uh, finish point. And here's the last commission that I did. It's uh, John DeFool from Jodorowsky and Mobius's The Incal. And this little creature seagull character, Depot, uh, or Depo, I don't know, I guess Depot, it's D-E-E-P-O. But um, yeah, I, I, I redrew this a few times with the pencils, just getting the pose right. And I, I kept kind of making them look a little more beefy and in the comic, he's really skinny and lanky. Um, and I was fairly happy with the, the face once I, I first penciled it, but then I, I kind of messed with it a little bit. He ended up looking a little like Matthew Modine, I think. But um, yeah, it's uh, I, I decided just to ink this with a pen because I feel like that kind of resembles Mobius's line a little more. And then I went in with the ink wash because this was another black and white commission. Um, so yeah, here I'm just erasing the, uh, all the straight pencil lines. I leave some, a little bit of pencil lines that I felt like add a little bit to the form in certain areas, but, um, yeah, mostly, uh, erase them, especially like the, around the edges and the stuff that's not actually in the, on the characters. I like to clean up the, the paper as much as I can. And there's these like weird little tendril things that I noticed on a couple different, editions of the book they had this was like a, uh, a similar composition to what Mobius had drawn with like these little things shooting out I read this graphic novel a while ago and I don't really remember exactly what those things are that are coming out <laughs> attacking them I remember they go into kind of like a junk world and um, there's like a rat queen or something and uh, he goes through some kind of transformation um, I'm I love I love Mobius's work, but this is probably like one of my uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's like one of my favorite things of his. Um, I'm not as crazy about Jodorowsky's writing as I like 
uh, as I just prefer Mobius is when he writes himself, just uh, like the airtight garage and stuff like that. This is kind of more or more up my alley than this. But still, it's a cool comic and fun to do this. And that's the video for this time. Thanks for watching. Check out the crowdfunder in the next few days and my Patreon, Feral Dial. Okay, bye.